let's say you want to take a photo of yourself and take out the background and then superimpose yourself onto another photo. That's what this video is about. I'm going to show you how to use Pixlr to do that. Pixlr is a photo editor um, that's very similar to Photoshop editor except that it's free and it's web-based and you don't have to sign up or anything. So it's really nice. We use it in class a lot. It's not as a lot of times the features aren't as refined and um, robust as in Photoshop Editor, but the kids love it and we're able to do what we need to do with it. I highly recommend it. All right, so the first thing we do is you need to go to Pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R dot C-O-M. And then you click on Open Photo Editor. And then I'm going to grab a photo from my hard drive, so I'm going to click on open image from computer and I'm going to open this photo so the first thing you'll see is the image is right here in front of you and then along the left you have a toolbar and then along the top you have menus that provide many of the same things that are on the toolbar and um, some more. So the toolbar really has the most frequently used um, tools. And then when you click on one of the tools, it brings up all the options for that tool right here. And then along the right hand side, there are a number of different windows that are going to help you as you work on your image. And I'll talk about those as we go along. The first one is layers. Um, the best way to describe layers is that, as let's say you have two photos open and you're superimposing one photo on top of the other, each one is a layer. So right now we only have one photo open, so we only have one layer, and it's the background layer. Um, I'm going to show you what happens if you do this wrong first. I know that's unusual, but um, let's say you say you're going to erase the background and you start erasing and it looks like it's erasing but it's white and that's exactly what it really is it's white so you're not actually um, going to when you superimpose yourself the white is going to block out the second photo what you really want is transparent you want the background to be gone so you need to unlock the layer before you begin then when you erase you'll see these um, boxes underneath and you'll know that it's transparent. Alright, so I clicked on erase and I went up here and I selected a, a bigger eraser is what I did. And I'm going to go ahead and erase the background first. I do want to explain that if I was using Photoshop Editor and the green screen, I would just use this magic tool um, feature, which selects, let me just tell you what the magic, well, it's a magic wand, I guess. The magic wand tool allows you to select an area of an image based on its color. When you click an area in an image with the magic wand, all areas which are a similar color are selected, and then I would be able to delete it. Um, in the options bar, you can select the tolerance value, so that's right here, and you can slide this back and forth. And um, basically, the tolerance value determines how closely to match colors. Higher tolerance means a larger selection. And then anti aliasing means that um, to define a smooth, smooth edge to the selection, and then t contiguous means to select only areas which are joined together. So for example, now that I've, um, I, I would have used that from the beginning with Photoshop Editor, but I haven't found it to be as effective in Pixlr. And um, it could be that I just am not as experienced with it. But anyway, let's just move the tolerance up. Now this should select everything that's green within this area. So let's see what happens. So you click on it, and then you can delete. So that got rid of all of that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this white area. Let's click over here. See how it 
um, selected too much on this girl. So if I were to delete it now, a good part of this girl is going to be gone. So I would come over here to edit and undo. So let's go ahead and um, in order to keep going, I'm actually going to have to deselect all here and then click on erase again. Let's see if I can't um, select erase out part of this. All right, let's go back to the magic wand and get rid of this piece. All right, so go edit, deselect all. Now, let me give you some pointers on um, working close into the figure because uh, this is where it gets really tricky. Um, I'm zooming in. Whoa. All right, so you can go to view and zoom in and zoom out. But when you get close in, you really want to zoom in if you can. And then you use these scroll bars to try and center where you want to be. And then it's really better if you make your brush stroke smaller. So let's see if we can't get rid of another section of this girl, girl's background. All right, so let's say I just click, okay, that didn't work. I need to move the tolerance down. All right, um, let me move out and see how that looks. I hit delete, delete, delete. I'm going to take my brush and erase the, um, okay, so it's not going to let me erase until I deselect all. And then I can start to clean up all these little speckles. This is where um, it's not as good as Photoshop Editor. Um, it leaves some residue, I guess is the best way to put it. Let's see if I can get rid of this little piece here. So basically I'm selecting, using the magic wand, I'm selecting things. And let me come in here and clean this up. Whoops. All right. So I am not going to get this as clean as I would like. All of this is going to make a big difference. All these little green spots are going to make a big difference when you... Um, superimpose so you actually want to take some time and and do a good job the other thing is you know it's easy to leave this green area right along the arms and stuff but it will give you depending on what you're superimposing yourself on it will give you like kind of a green glow so you might want to take some time and and really remove everything but since I don't want to bore you to death I am going to go ahead and um, show you how to save this and then I'll work on it some more and do another video on how you actually superimpose. So when you're ready to save, this is really important. You go to save and you want to name, name the file something. Girl Transparent. Now you want to pick this format PNG transparent. If you don't and you pick, um, see how the background goes to the checker, that's what you want. If you actually pick JPEG, which is a really popular um, photo format, notice it's white 
and that's what it will be. It will actually save it as a white background. So go to PNG, and then it says working, please wait. When it's ready, you click on OK, and then you can save it down to your hard drive or wherever um, to be used later. So, um, all right, so that's how you get rid of the background.